Hey there Titans! Today we're going to learn how to use Form Titan Salesforce app with your custom objects in Salesforce Classic. The first thing you will need is the Form Titan Salesforce app. Next thing you're going to need your custom object. Here we have a recipe custom object and in the recipe we have a name, we have a description, we have a few related lists. Um, we have the recipe steps and we have the recipe ingredients. Let, let's take a look at our form. In the form we have a hidden field which receives the recipe ID and from that we're gonna get all of our information. So we have some fields here, a name, the recipe name, the description, and the repeated sections for the steps and for the ingredients. Let's take a look at our Salesforce mapping. <coughs> So in our get, we're getting a recipe by the our hidden field, the recipe ID. And after we get the recipe, we're getting the list of ingredients and the list of steps. And let's take a look at our push. And in our push, we are pushing the PDF. We're doing two pushes, one for attachment, the other one is for file. Let's take a quick look at the mapping. So we map the, the parent ID to our recipe ID and file name. Change this to recipe. And the body into our PDF mapping. Let's take a quick look at the PDF mapping. We have a dynamic PDF, which is based off of a HTML template. This is the PDF dynamic mode and we mapped our fields into the PDF. This is for the repeated section. We have a table and one for the ingredients and one for the uh, method, the steps. Okay, let's take a look at our, at our form. Once we submit, we get this beautiful PDF for our recipe. And let's see how we get this to work from within Salesforce. So if we open up our PDF, head over to the settings, we see a bunch of uh, Salesforce information here. Let's take a look at a Salesforce button because we want to press a button and print the recipe. So we hit configure first thing you're going to need to configure is which object you're working with. We are working with the recipe. This is our main object. The next thing you need to tell FormTitan which, on which field do we want to FormTitan to act on. So we want FormTitan to get all the information from the recipe ID and then we'll be able to get the information from Salesforce into FormTitan. So let's take a quick look. So here we have a button code and we're working with classic now. So this is the detail page button. Let's copy this. We'll head over to Salesforce. This is our object. Let's go to the object information. Let's create a new button. Um, print recipe. And we need it to be a detailed page button the behavior should be execute JavaScript. We paste over the code that we got from Form Titan and we save it. The only thing we have left to do is throw the button into the layout. Now in order for this to work you gotta add the user as a collaborator which I already did. You click here you click my bad. You click add collaborators from Salesforce and you select the user that you want to let's just delete this we'll redo it so you can see so we, we're searching the users from Salesforce this is my user I'm gonna add it we, we see all the, we see the list of forms that we have in the form Titan environment this is our recipe let's give us um, permission to submit we hit apply and we're done.
Now let's hope, head back to the Salesforce, to our button, we'll click the print recipe, and the, self, the form titan window opens. Now let's take a quick look at our PDF. Now let, let's generate this. Once it's done, it's going to push the attachment and the file into the recipe. Okay, our next thing is, let's say we want from the list view to generate multiple PDFs for these guys over here. So we don't want to do it one by one, we just want to select, press something, and have Form Titan generate the PDF for us. Okay, so we go back to the PDF settings, we hit this button and we get the code from Form Titan for the button. So let's head back to our recipe object. New button or link. Let's say multiprint. We have to select detailed page button. Uh, my bad, list button and our behavior again will be JavaScript. We'll paste in the code that we got from Form Titan. We save this. And the only thing we have left to do is to add it into the layout. So let's head back to our custom object. We need to go to our list view layout and this is the button we just created, add it to the, to the layout, save this and let's see how it does. Refresh the page and we have this guy over here. We have to select at least one record. Let's select both of them and let's hit generate. Now it will generate the attachments for both, both for these two records. So let's see the submission we did before this is the one we did before. Let's take a look. This is a file, Salesforce file, and we see our PDF. Let's head, let's head back to all of our recipes. Take a look at the Hala recipe, and we have it submitted as well from the multi-print button that we just created. This is how you do it.